Maruti Suzuki has been successful in experimenting different segments of cars. Beat C as which has marked its place in sedan category and giving top competition to the segment leader like Honda City, Hyundai Verna, or Beat Spreza, which has emerged as the segment leaders in compact SUV segment. However, Maruti could not perform well in utility space. Yes, we are talking about the Ortiga, which entered in the utility vehicle segments in 2012. However, the selling figures were not so impressive. So, what we have here in the Ortiga to cope up with the competition? Let's find out. Before you do, if this is your first time or forgot to subscribe, please subscribe to our channel Travel with Speed and press the bell icon to get notified for our latest reviews from Auto World and get complete travel guide for tourist places. So, let's get started. First we check what are the structural remodeling. The all new Ortiga is based on the new hardtech platform similar to Valino, Swift and Ignis. Because of its reinforcement, the new model is expected to be lighter yet stiffer than the outgoing MPV. The wheel base remains unchanged which is 2740mm. The car is wider and longer now. Despite the larger size, the boot space in the new Ortiga has been reduced to 153 liter with all the three rows up compared to the older one which was 185 liter capacity. In terms of design, the all new Ortiga comes with the wider front with horizontally splitted classic chrome grills, a new bumper section, slicker headlamps to house link projector headlamps and one conventional lamp with some chrome detailing. The car also gets new look tail lamps and a new D-pillar. Under the hood, there are two engine options. Bigger 1.5 liter petrol motor produces 104 HP and 138 Nm of torque. The MPV's lighter weight combined with a bump in the output figure of 12 HP and 8.4 Nm makes the new model more efficient. It comes with a 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic transmission option. The claimed fuel economy of this new model is 18.06 kmp. There is also a plan for new 1.5 liter diesel motor and the regular 1.3 liter motor. Let's come to the interior now. Because of the increase in length of the rear and a slightly wider width, the new Ortiga is expected to feature more spacious cabin, especially for the third row passenger. However, it compromises the boot space a little. The black and breeze dashboard are similar to the other Marutis but looks refreshing here. The instrument cluster and the steering is compared to the new Swift, air vents are vertically aligned, a new touchscreen infotainment system and the cooled cup holders in the dashboard are featured in the top 3 models. Prices are little high compared to the outgoing model as it is equipped with new features. Traditionally, the Maruti Suzuki has nailed the Ortiga against Toyota Innova. However, the Innova is now a more premium product in both equipment and pricing. The Ortiga is however a more affordable option. Just imagine you get a car which gives you 80% of what Innova gives, however in 60% price of Innova. So before you go for this, we would suggest you to check your requirement first, take a test drive and then decide. So that's all for today's guys, please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel Travel with Speed to get notified for the new videos. Till that point, take care and bye bye.